Hello and welcome to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Now, there's so much that has happened this past week. Uh, on Friday, another Nakumat branch was closed. This time with employees inside. As, basically, as the other branches closed for lack of stock, he'll go on a livestock. <laughs> and interestingly, it is the employees who had closed the branch to demand for their five month salary arrears. Yesterday, the, 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 our director sent a team that takes the stocks in other branches as usual. Then we said, for us, we are, not, we are not actually going to allow this to happen. We are not actually going to, be, to, to, to sit down and see us being intimidated. So, we decided for the team that came from Nairobi, we, received, we resisted no stock should be taken from this branch. And that's our stand. See, I want to trust Mr. Ote. That's why they were speaking behind bars. And being locked up uh, in a supermarket would sound like heaven for a kid who doesn't understand. You remember the fantasy we had growing up? At vile ukifungiwa kwa supermarket unaweza kula kila kitu. Eh, uende pale una lamba peanut, una na wana yogurt. Now my greatest fantasy of all time was to be locked up in a supermarket ni ogena sali ndio ni tuhani. <laughs> but when, well, those days are long gone. We've all seen the shelves lately. Shelves the supermarket squeezes in Mekua Kama, Mr. Is a timid at. Has he not key to? Has he not key to? Can you tell me, sit down now. Has he not key to? Neka sabuni tu. Siju ni kuite buchari juwa bile unanyama. Siju ni nini sasa? Kama ngombe ndi ikona nyama na tuitangi buchari. Now, by locking themselves up in the supermarket, the employees were technically on a hunger strike. Like in some of them, wali lemewa kakula chenye wali pata. But this is not surprising. See what it is, madame wanapenda soap. Now, most of the branches, hazina kitu kabisa, they only have the shelves and the elephant. And the employees locking themselves up was very symbolic. They hoped, uh, they hoped to solve the elephant in the room. <coughs> but kujifungia na elephant only makes the situation worse. Ina wakumbusha zile mandovo muna dai kampuni. Then a similar story happened in Nakuru this week. The county MCAs uh, refused to go on recess, claiming that they are broke. So they insisted to stay longer so that uh, they can sit in committees where they can draw some allowances. I think Tunafaku introduced sitting allowance for Mashule and Watoto Wache Kupenda Nyumbani. For real. And you think the MCAs have uh, the interest of Kenyans at heart, but no. They are not going home just to get the allowances. Hata wana motions that could discuss. Ama what do you think they will be discussing on Christmas Day? At, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, unajua buwana anazariwa for the 2000th time. <laughs> now, the maternity situation is not the best. We need to set aside 50 million shillings so that the road can be born in a decent hospital. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Yes, what azariwa kwa zizi yangobe maragapi? <laughs> Hii pesa siyo yetu. Hii pesa ni ya mokozi. <laughs> as many as of a similar opinion say aye. So my man. Amen. Amen. Uh, now I'll tell you what, this is more proof that money brings all people together. How my MCAs are up and down, and I'm not making that up. I don't think these guys are friends. Check out an expert's report from 2015 on the same county assembly. The Nakuru County Assembly recently had a special session dubbed the wrestlers of Nakuru, whereby MCAs got an opportunity to add value to the tag Waheshimiwa by interacting violently Amaku Heshimiana in the language. <laughs> Kabla ya kumenyana, Madam Speaker started by reading out the rules of engagement to the members, kama ifuatavyo. One, hakuna magumi ya kichwa. <laughs> Kuna kunyogana, kufinyana weed pipe or interfering with other delicate body parts like the river. And lastly, no pinching. <laughs> Mara tu sheria zilipomaliza kusomwa, Honorable Mad Tracks not his real name, nominated his first victim. Unfortunately, he had booked a professional. Akamfanya mavitu, and up to now, he's still wondering what happened. <laughs> Other highlights of the incident included Wawiri Hawa, Wario Itana Kadok, who addressed on certain things <laughs> that you are campaign posters. Namugina ni kama mheshimiwa huyu, alie kutu wa spia ya kitambi, followed by an attempt ya kupigwa bite ya roho, ama external heart attack in Raymond's language. Lucky enough, aliweza kumcontain adui, kabra toke na nyama. During a speech after the event, Geswak noticed the deputy speaker had a missing tooth on his lower jaw. <laughs> knowing very well that Gino Kungoka niri city agumi, there was no need for auditing as it was quite clear magumi yali to make a vizuri. 
after the action other members got an opportunity ya kutoa ushuhuda mwanaume mwanaume amenikanyanga kabisa mwanaume ambaye siwa siwa CMCA amenikanyanga mguu kabisa na kakataria hapo sentiments that was strongly echoed by the deputy speaker ah, nimenyongwa nimepigwa paka nikaangushwa na wakora ambaye siwajui representing the gaswak fraternity it is the one and only Kenya these guys are not friends you've got to give it up to this particular guy though by interacting violently ama kuheshimiana blue ticks come with pain in every angle you can't even interrupt that guy's speech at uh wajama mr speaker i was saying Pah! i was saying that <laughs> who does that and uh in it was uh this is a focused guy he does not even like he does not like attention seekers and that's how serious mcs are currently uh, they have insisted that a 2 million car loan and a 3 million mortgage uh money be disbursed to the accounts without security and they are not budging keep in mind the taxpayer is still grappling with millions in losses uh, from defaulted loans by their predecessors wale my mca walikuwa hawajalipa loan ban bado hii kenya itatuonesha mambo another big headline from this past week mps find a new way to boost their pay the new trick is amending the standing orders to allow them uh, to sit in more than one committee uh, so that they can increase their allowances hiyo ni kama kutaka kuka kwa committee tatu za harusi ndio kule keki mara tatu that's not how it goes it doesn't go like that now this comes as the salaries and uh, remuneration commission term comes to an end SRC short to fame sababu ya kukata my MPs mshahara and one of the objective of the of, of objectives of the commission was to bring down the wage bill to manageable levels that is uh, without the SRC the wage bill would have shot from 427 billion to well over 600 billion one of the highlights or at least the um, brief briefing you had earlier today was a, a projection of a wage bill that would go even higher to 650 billion shillings um, would would this reflect as a failure on your part uh, being that the wage bill is going higher and it was your job to at least tame this or give recommendations of taming the wage bill oh wait it actually did so SRC or no SRC, bado pesa ili shoot. What's wrong with this country? Now the greatest loophole has been blamed uh, uh, for this. The, the greatest loophole that has been blamed for this ni uh, uh, allowances. Basic salary is just an innocent victim. There are many avenues which, where government revenue is lost. The uh, Auditor General Juzi Alisema uh, in a report uh, that 175 million shillings was lost in the purchase of police boots. boots. So ukiona police wanatembea na slippers, jua kuna mtu anabetengeneza nyumba na pesa yao ya boots shida ni walisema wana they are buying at uh, 26000 pairs wakaandika kwa report they bought 76000 alafu sasa tena kuna that's one level the next level ni inflating of prices so, let's say for example boot ya karao ni 500 that's just an example wakaandika bei ya timberland <laughs> nwapi no, mwana karao atakitembea na high heels this country will show us things another uh, sena bado this week a un report released uh, this week has ranked border border riders as the leading teenage impregnators in the 2016-2017 fisi kolia <laughs> now ambia now now ambia ni mabola mnakata after that report do this are no longer border borders ni buda budas and uh, <laughs> not to say that all border border guys are part of this vice there are many upright uh, do the guys out here alafu kwa hiyo list ya impregnators makangas are following closely at uh, uh, in the second position making uh, the public tra transport sector the leading agent of pollination now <laughs> coming in at a distant third uh, with his personal effort ni diamond platinums but yeah colleague yake <laughs> but uh, isn't you bit tunafanya tunakuwa distracted from the serious problems this country has. We took on our wage bill uh, yenye it's uh, about 60% or there about of the national budget in a country where took on a 70% unemployment so many distractions then uh, on today's show we have the perfect guest for that Juliani Ms Kiangoma yake wamezitumia mpaka ku campaign lakini wakati wanafinyiliwa he is our guest of the show we'll be right back with him after this short break <laughs>
Welcome back to the weekly edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Our conversation uh, on the show tonight is around SRC. Uh, and I told you we just got the perfect guest for this show. He's an artist. Uh, I can't tell. Okay, gospel. Uh, Giuliani, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, <laughs> Thank <laughs> But they come. come or watch. Ah, as in, see at Ile, nini, kama culture, like every weekend there's something going on. Yeah. Unajua? Like, seme kama say, wasewa kam, seme, hey, niyaji Juliani ya kona concert, say, Embu, place nili grow. Seme kuna hapo, nini, wasewa kam, tu ile kushua na ile kabisa, wasewa na kam, ku appreciate art. I don't think tukona yo culture. Tukona yo culture, yeah, every, every Sunday kuna concerts na happen. Na wasewa na show. Nivenye tu maybe see flashy, you know, na maybe see flashy, like, but uh, when I was active in the Fanya concert zango, I used to do shows every weekend. At least at most every weekend. Unaona. So, in a manisha tu value ilo napati ya mafans. Pia ase, uzuri ama ubaya wa Kenya ni wako exposed. So, in a manisha wana kukompea na mse mwingine. Unaona, uh, wana kukompea na... Najwa TZ wana is appreciate mbaka Mustafa. That's what I mean. Ah, same ko, for real, as in... Mustafa ni mkali vana, he has a history. Sija sema si mkali, ni asema... <laughs> okay. So, by the time to me, example, you see, when I appreciate it, back out there, like when I come. Where is he come? I go there. Where is he come? No, I go there. Is a is a good. I go I go pour as a as a as a whatever she does. Eh? But she's not a um, uh, like. Hey, it's an example. Like we don't have. Um, uh, and I watch Indi. I watch for it. But at a team that I watch Indi. But can you tell me something? Yeah, is that is that industry too? Iko 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 socialite based than. Ah, okay. Kuna na than the the like, but you, which is not a bad thing because we create jobs. Kuna zewe ngi wa jobless until waka kwa socialite. No, no. So it's the 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 truth is that jobs jobs jobs. <laughs> 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 But can you tell me that um, we are not in, actually if you compare Tanzania and Kenya when it comes to policy na kila kitu tuko poa hao wako tu na hype which na idea now wengi wao wako na wengi wao uh, wala wao na maselebu wao ni watu mmoja msai kiva amevaa poa tu kidogo yo ready when celeb unaona yeah. so alafu yeah. wengi wao ni washamba when celeb jitu ya kudunga eh wengi wao ni washamba ish what is unaona. it yeah. so ah thank you that's that's the difference that concert yako ya huko kabisa ah kuna <laughs> yeah. but kenya na, na track seven yaje the kenya na happen ni vanya tu maybe cc and that's what i was saying earlier that kenya maybe we we don't invest at we invest uh was only value you have to invest into the arts and economy, the intangible economy, unaona. So that's what we're trying to do, so that it makes sense. But you imagine where classic comedy is going to happen. So in a work, as a musician, if I sing music, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it or whatever. So it's working, and the good thing in Kenya is that there are policies that we run. The only difference is maybe implement TV. Ah, true. Yeah, true. Now, do you think arts iki kiasa kusoti wapo? Because Mimi is advocate for Isa na arts iki kiasa ku tengene as in tu kiasa culture yetu ya ku appreciate yo Isa kitengene. Acha as in arts na juu ni juu akali ya creativity. Basi wa kiasa ku appreciate sana tu nzali do see unemployment substantial. For me, it's the only actually is the only solution. Even in the future of 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 employment, arts is the only because the if you look at the um, artificial intelligent angle of it, you know, you are like. Yeah. Accountancy is if jobs are automated eventually. Okay. But being an artist is about personality, is about being who you is about you. So people appreciate you can have minimum set of planning in Kwadandora, but the day I need this and go man and in and in, was okay. feeling come up close to Namibu. No, no. Okay. Okay. So that's the beauty of art and, 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 and being an artist. To Konama Commission's mob, Sana, Kwa government, eh, Unaskia. At, at 175 million we lost. Kila time unasikia do we lost kwa story flani. Pesa imepotea kwa story flani. Wasea wata ishikuwa. Uwe e, ukiangalia in the 
kama msio wa kawaida actually that's why you are perfect for this show unaweza angalia kama msio wa kawaida si ndio kitu yenye inaweza deal na hizi ma, ma vices zote wachana na kubadilisha administration because wasi usema ati CG hata MCA peke yake anaweza tosha kubadilisha Five years kama tuko kwa system yetu tumesha accept ati ah system inakuanga hivi tume tuko messed up. Hakuna njia nyingine yenye tuza sort ni value system, value system. So hatuna value system as a country. Hatuna value wewe kama ni mkenya, hauna hatuna value system. And pia maybe we shouldn't be hard on ourselves kidogo because ukisema ukicheki uk, poa history yetu we are like 50 years old. Until uh, Jaramogi na Kenyatta waka Kenyatta Kenyatta Jaromogi Kenyatta Tomboya until they came together and said that we can form a republic ilikuwa tu ni ma network of ne, uh, a ka, cocoon of tribes so yes. wa Kisumu walikuwa kwao wa Central walikuwa kwao wana wana, wana, wana niniwa. of course kuna colonialism inaenda huko kuna yeah, colonialism yeah. so everybody was apart until Jaromogi and and and, and, and baba ya Uhuru wakakam pamoja and any other person walikam pamoja wakaform hizo ma political parties ku, ku, ku lend their voice so the first problem that we always had was kutoa mzungu so we have never had any other problem until tukatoa mzungu unaona so right now um, uh, that is uh, place tuko sign because of the historic position that we were in initially we only came together out of convenience okay so initially we can uh, tribes came together just so that tutoe mzungu if you think about it yes, we didn't yes. come together to build something we came together to fight something unaona so and then now later and then now right now ndio bado tuna try ku kuji, kuji fix to build but now we have to fight uh, individualism we have to fight makatel we have to fight all this so we are always fighting not coming together to build something ni point poa sana yeah hiyo ni point poa sana so to mean kama tungekuwa na wazungu for a little longer ingekuwa inasaidia rather either way tuko tuko pabaya unaona but kenya na tribes ni aje that we, the only time we, the only reason kenyans came together ni was our tribal the only reason we came together it was convenience and survival it wasn't based on building and mutual understanding my mp say ukisema the reason why we came together si ndio my mp say wame unite jubilee na nasa wako language mm. moja sahi juu historia kuingia kwa committee wanataka kupasi ni convenience eh? wako united kabisa si ndio mm. eh MCA pia hao nimekuonesha vile walikuwa na fight wamekam pamoja sahi wamekataa kwenda wako united ile place walikuwa na fight wanataka wakae hapo sasa pamoja mm. right mm. Eh, na alafu wa Kenya wako divided kwa sababu ya ile times leaders wao kwa divided una get do you think hapo kuna idea kuleta wasi pamoja like to make us wako na wanakuwa wana unite about do kabisa ndio wasi wasi divide huko chini but wasi wasi divide kama the role model ama hero yako ni msi ako ako kwa sahi msi hata hapo hivi sahi ukile politician kama hapa kila mtu atakapiga picha na politician ndani wewe okay. because after at the end of the day politician anaanza mwache ama wewe utamsaidia na nini wewe wewe hata macho wewe hata soda ndajagiwa mpaka sahi unaona <laughs> kama kama tumeangalia tukaona labda leadership ku change ni hard right mm. sio ati doi fike huko kwa sisi as in when artists many artists as tunaweza fikiria tu, tu, sisi wenyewe tunaweza kuliaje kwa hizo do like tunaweza fikaje hizo level za ku. maybe that's the problem now because the problem ni kila mtu hapa na hustle ndiye aende aende amange that's why kila mtu anataka ku MCA kila mtu anataka ku MP unaona that's private solution to public problems unaona so the, the issues that you each, each uh, most of the wasa wapi wako kampo so msia nadhani ata work hard a uh, pass kampo aende afanye phd ya get job poa shida zake zimeisha okay if anything sio hivyo ina maanisha by the time umemaliza phd au una job by the time umemaliza phd ile ndio ungelipwa ungekuwa unamaliza au utalipwa okay. utalipwa lower yes unaona so it's up to wa kenya yani ku decide wanda kupeleka api inchi yao to land kumanga see that's the, the that's the solution but wasa ngapo na zamanga huko juu si kila mtu akona story yake ya rags to riches so i think tunafaa kufunza wasi kenya kwanza hakuna rags to riches kenya ni wezi tu unaona hakuna <laughs> there's no rag to, you, you kaa wewe side tunaweza kaa chini tuseme ulianza comedy me from nikiwa form 2 mpaka sasa hii unaza trace venye nili build whatever I've been able to build as a musician uh-huh. most of all i say tunaitamba billionaire you can never trace that You can only trace it once aliingia kwa gava 
ama alianza kufanya deal na gava kutoka akaanza akatoka na mabugs unaona na si hata story yako technical ni kama rags to riches juliani yangu yangu but yangu siyo extreme we, we, Aweze sema mimi ni billionaire because of media msafara like wewe mimi si haya pana mimi si safara eh yeah, but ulikuwa safara sometimes at some point ndio yeah mimi kwa safara ndio mm-hmm. then ina maanisha hatuwezi lose our hope ya yeah, atiwezi kwa from rags to at kenya tuna try kusema ni si hatu lose our hope tuseme tunaambia say that efforts zako sa azitafanya any like oh. unaweza sema mimi ni kwa kwa fulani kwa hiyo group ya kwa fulani wasa ngapi mimi ni wa successful as artist oni mimi na za trace kwa uko fulani kwa uko fulani and yet everybody else was equally or even bigger i mean way better uh, talented success inafaa kuwa si amse mmoja unajua when mimi ni successful automatically kani kwa hapa at least kila mtu anafaa kuwa hapa sasa kwa uko fulani for example sasa ama jamaa wengine wako si ndio mm. so option yenye wako nao ni either tutabu tu, tutafute option ya tuseme kama station ka other than kuiba Actually the only option wako nao ni kuiba for now but can you not accept man waambie waambie kwa hii kamera no the, the only the, 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 the same same thing umesema sasa hivi wasa wako fulani not wasa wako fulani <laughs> if, if you use it if you use it as a, no if you use it ebu ask yourself why uh, tuko 50% unemployed young people yes i say hawana job ukicheki poa statistics ni that only 2 million people are formally employed the rest 10 million are not formally employed na maanisha 10 million wanafanya mji wa kali ndio yeah. ndio sisi hapa so as yeah. as wengine hao wanaingia kwa market wataenda wa get job wapi so kinyetu tunataka kusema ni aje that let's avoid having uh, private solution to public problems that's a very good point lakini kuna point bado moja ume miss wasa huko fulani juliani amesema hao wengine wenye haja make muibe now <laughs> 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 eh muimbe muimbe ase. Ah, zi, hiyo <laughs> kuimba ndio mnafanya hiyo. Fanye ndio ingine. Kwa hii kamera hapa chapia wase mm. eh, pasha wase ukiweza get inaitwa get kwa ile mood yako ya performance ile ya kutesa. Kwa hii eh mm. <coughs> summarize hiyo vitu zote tumeongelea about. First of all nataka uh, of course shout out wase wangu wa Dandora Hip Hop City. Eh uh, Jeshi Yangome inaitwa Synergy. Uh, so uh, na I mean nakupiga story about Synergy later but um mimi kanya niko najua for fact is that hii country ko place poor sana. The only difference is that kuna elements one or two zile zinafanya atuendi pale tunafaa kuwa. Na hizo elements kutolewa ita take uh, ita take actually an informed and organized citizen. Hope makofi ya Juliani mazuri. Anaweza sana, anaweza sana. Thanks sana for coming. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming show yetu. Hiyo makofi peke yake ina tusha Juliani. <laughs> Uh, that's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori. Mm-hmm.